everyone, um, this is the door book that I made. Um, it's not completed. Um, I'm going to quickly show you how to make the book. Um, unfortunately, I don't have um, the video um, software where you can make my videos go faster. But um, someday I will. So let me just quickly run through um, the steps with you really quick. Um, basically, the door opens like this. And then it opens to a book or to an album, like so. Okay. And to make the book or the door, basically um, you can buy these wood pieces at Home Depot. Um, they come in a 12 inch strip and they're only a dollar. So I used two of them and they were kind enough um, to cut these strips for me um, in 5 inch strips. So um, basically what I did first was um, to get this look right here to where it looks like it's you know kind of banged up uh, or distressed. I used the hammer and I used this end and I just kind of banged it, um, you know, several places um, onto the wood. And then I just um, used some acrylic paint that I bought at Joann's. It's a chocolate sprinkle color. Um, you can actually use a wood stain, it's totally up to you, or you can use a paint dauber, um, but I just use acrylic paint. And then I painted over the pieces and it dries fairly fast. So once the pieces are dried, okay um, you're gonna place your pieces like so like that and then I use um, the Tombow glue um, but I was talking to Arlene today and she was telling me about this Godzilla glue that you could buy that would probably hold um, it better so once you glue it I would recommend you to let it sit overnight um, that way the pieces aren't falling out while you're trying to uh, make the door so once that's done um, you're going to be sure to paint all the sides so both sides are painted um, you're going to make a chipboard piece this is fairly thin you probably might want to use a thicker one um, and you're going to do the same measurements which is um, 5 inch by 8 and um, 1 8 inch and then you're going to adhere it to the piece of um, the wood and I just use sticky strip to hold it down okay and then to make the glass effect um, which I use acetate okay um, this is a uh, measures at two and a half by five and a half inches okay so it's gonna sit like this but before you sit um, well adhere the acetate down um, I use a Tim Holtz stamp and I just stamped it with my um, Versamark stamp and then I added some distressed black soot embossing powder um, because my door at my house had wrought iron actually on it, I wanted to give it that effect also. So um, this is what I came up with. And so you'll do that. So once that's done, um, then you're going to adhere this with sticky strip all the way around. Okay. And then you're going to get um, your design paper, um, whichever design paper you want. And you're going to cut it the same like how I did here. Um, you're going to cut it the same way like how you cut this piece right here, okay? And then I just added some ribbon. And then if you notice on the ribbon, because it was scalloped, I cut them at a 45 degree angle on the corners um, to give it that framed look, okay? Um, now for the doorknob, um, I had mentioned in my video that I didn't want to use the long screws, um, but because I'm using wood, I would actually probably recommend you to use the long screw. Um, the only thing is you might want to find one, if you can find one, that's a little bit shorter. Um, because this one, if you notice, um, it sticks up a little bit. Um, so I just added some flowers to kind of, you know, cover the screw a little bit. And then I plan to distress this with some vintage photo distressing powder. Um, so you don't really see the screw. So, um... So that's how you make um, the door, okay? And um, to make the actual book, what I did was I just made an accordion fold like this. Um, this measures um, 10 inches by 8 and 1 8 inch and scored at 1 inch, okay? Um, and then um, it looks like this, if you could see that, okay? And all I did was I got some adhesive and I adhered the glue like this on every other strip and then closed it and then it binds it, opens it up like a book. Okay? But for the inside pages, 
I used some chipboard, which I cut at um, 5 inch by 8 and 1 8 inch. And then I just placed it on every other, I mean, well, every slot, basically. So this will make five cages for you. And that's pretty much um, how I did it. And then I just added some design paper. Um, this is the Basic Grace Mellow um, collection. And then I just glued it down to the chipboard, um, like so. And that makes your, that makes your book. Um, if you want to uh, put wood back here, you have that option to do that as well. You would just do the same thing that you did here, um, but I just want it as the front cover only. So um, this is what it looks like. Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, I plan to make more. Um, my whole point of this um, book, like I was mentioning to Arlene, was um, when you open the door, you know, you're opening it to the memories of your home. And that's the whole reason why I did this. Um, the house um, that we lived in before um, had a wooden door, and I have a bunch of um, pictures from the house. And that's what I wanted, to treasure all the memories from that house. So when I open this door, it will remind me of that house. So um, I hope this helps, and I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.